Hello, and welcome to this training film about the correct procedure for inserting a catheter in male and female patients. In order to carry out the procedure, you will require the following to be prepared as per aseptic non-touch technique ANTT guidelines. Expiry dates, allergies and local policy must be checked when gathering equipment. You will need sterile catheterization pack containing gallipots, receiver, low linting swabs, disposable towels, disposable pad, sterile gloves, catheter as prescribed for the patient or selection of sizes, sterile anaesthetic, lubricating jelly, 0.9% sodium chloride or antiseptic solution, alcohol hand rub, appropriate device to secure catheter once inserted, sterile water, apron, drainage bag and holder. Ensure you have good lighting. Assess and discuss if a chaperone is required. At this point, the patient may also require assistance to position themselves comfortably. Maintaining privacy and dignity throughout the procedure. Wash your hands using the six step technique. During this time, check your hands for any broken areas which will require being covered with a waterproof dressing. Ensuring hands are dried with disposable paper towels. When you meet the patient, you should explain the procedure to the client to ensure they fully understand the procedure. Check their ID. Check for any allergies. Gain informed consent. Gain informed consent. Assess and discuss if a chaperone is required. At this point, the patient may also require assistance to position themselves comfortably, maintaining privacy and dignity throughout the procedure. Wash hands with bacterial hand rub or using six step hand washing technique, then put on sterile gloves. Prepare trolley starting from the top furthest away from you and working your way methodically down. If not using a trolley, prepare your dedicated tray or working environment following ANTT and infection control policy. Remove gloves and apron disposing in clinical waste Wash your hands using the six step technique or using alcohol hand rub. Then place all required items on the lower part of the trolley in order to keep the top part as a clean working surface. If the patient requires assistance to make them comfortable and prepared for the procedure, you should do this now. And then take the trolley to the treatment area. Avoid the trolley coming into contact with any objects such as the bed, curtains, etc. Clean your hands with the alcohol hand rub. Hands must be cleaned before and after every client contact as per ANTT procedure to minimize airborne contamination. Put on a disposable apron, open catheterization pack onto the trolley and as per ANTT procedure, open the pack and the supplementary packs onto the open catheterization pack, placing the catheter into the receiver once you have opened the end. Pull back the sheet that is covering the patient. Place a disposable pad under the patient, communicating and reassuring patient throughout. Position the sterile field over the patient to maintain dignity once blanket slash clothing has been removed for catheterization. Wash hands with bacterial hand rub or using six step hand washing technique, then put on sterile gloves. Using ANTT, move the sterile field to expose the patient. Using low linting swabs, the labia minora should be separated, exposing the urethral metus. Then, as per local policy, clean around urethral orifice. Place the receiver containing the catheter between the patient's legs, so as to provide a temporary container for urine as it drains. Insert the nozzle of the lubricating gel into the urethra and squeeze six milliliters. Then wait approximately five minutes or time recommended by manufacturer. Lubricating anesthetic gel is used to reduce trauma and discomfort. Lubricating anesthetic gel should be used unless the patient is allergic and then a different lubricating jelly must be used. Continuing with ANTT, begin to introduce the catheter using an upwards and backwards motion into the urethral orifice. Advance the catheter until 6 to 8 centimeters has been inserted. 
continuously assessing the patient for pain or discomfort. This ensures the catheter is in the bladder before inflating the balloon. Inflate the balloon as per manufacturer's directions after urine flow is established. Pain and trauma can occur as a result of inflating the balloon when it is not in the correct position. Gently pull back and withdraw the catheter slightly. Attach catheter to drainage system to maintain patient comfort. This is to assess and reduce the risk of urethral trauma. Assess and measure urine output. Once the patient has been cleaned of excess lubricating jelly, pull back the sheets for privacy, dignity, and ensuring patient comfort, continuing to talk to the patient, inform them that the procedure is complete, answering any questions they may have. Remove gloves and apron, disposing in clinical waste. Wash your hands using the six step technique. During this time, check your hands for any broken areas which will require being covered with a waterproof dressing. Male catheter insertion only. Wash hands with bacterial hand rub or using six step hand washing technique then put on sterile gloves. Wrap a sterile gauze around the penis, retract the foreskin and clean the glands penis with 0.9% sodium chloride or an antiseptic solution. This is to reduce introducing infection during catheterization. Squeeze 11 milliliters of lubricating jelly into the urethra. Use of lubricating anesthetic jelly can reduce patient discomfort. For approximately five minutes, squeeze the penis gently to retain anesthetic gel. Place sterile receiver with catheter between patient's legs. Continuing with ANTT, begin to introduce the catheter. Insert the catheter 15 to 25 centimeters. If a resistance is felt at the external sphincter, increase traction on the penis slightly and apply steady gentle pressure to the catheter. Ask the patient to strain as if passing urine, continuously assessing the patient for pain or discomfort. Work as per your scope of practice, seeking advice if necessary, until urine flows. This is to ensure the catheter is in the bladder before inflating the balloon. Increase traction on the penis slightly and then apply gentle pressure onto the catheter. Gently inflate the balloon according to the manufacturer's guidance, having ensured that the catheter is drained properly beforehand. Pain and trauma can occur as a result of inflating the balloon when it is not in the correct position. Inadvertent inflation of the balloon in the urethra can cause pain and urethral trauma. Withdraw the catheter to ensure correct positioning of the catheter. And then attach the catheter to the drainage system to maintain patient comfort and to reduce the risk of urethral trauma. Once the patient has been cleaned of excess lubricating jelly, etc., pull back the sheets for privacy, dignity, and ensuring patient comfort. Continuing to talk to the patient, inform them that the procedure is complete, answering any questions they may have. Remove gloves and apron, disposing in clinical waste. Wash your hands using the six step technique. During this time, check your hands for any broken areas which will require being covered with a waterproof dressing. Clean the glands of the penis if required and retract the foreskin. The remainder of the procedure is relevant for male and female patients. Catheter attachments can be supported using a variety of different methods. Ensure there is enough movement for when the patient is mobile. Ensure you do not occlude the tube when supporting device or patient limbs, bed rails, etc. It is good practice to measure the amount of urine which has been drained.
you should then dispose of the equipment in a yellow plastic clinical bag and seal the bag before moving the trolley. This is to prevent environmental contamination. Once you have completed this, you should record the information in the relevant areas. This information should include reasons for catheterization, date and time of catheterization, catheter type, length and size, amount of water instilled in balloon, batch number, manufacturer, any problems during the procedure, review date to assess need of catheter or date of change of catheter.